Chicory, A Colourful Tale is a cosy game filled with puzzles, exploration and loads of colour. Make friends and become the wielder of a special brush passed down through generations and paint your way through this cute indie adventure. Tom, how's it going? I'm good, thanks. I'm full of colour now. Full of colour. <laughs> yes, full of colour. My name is Durani from VG247 and we've been playing Chicory. So how are you getting on with the game, Tom? How are you finding it? I am, I mean, I'm quite early still to be as a as a kind of, uh, I'll put it out there. So I don't know everything this game's going to offer as I go through, but I'm liking it a lot so far. It's kind of a fairly laid back, sort of top down, sort of old school Zelda look-ish with more of a hand-drawn style adventure yeah. game where you have this brush and you can paint things with it essentially um, to make the world colorful i mean it yeah. once was colorful there's this whole backstory about the uh the wielder of the brush who painted the world and everything else and the wielder in this case chicory as the game is called has something's gone wrong but i'm not sure what yet because i haven't got that far and chicory has thrown the brush away essentially doesn't want to do the job anymore and you're this janitor who mine is called pizza i didn't realize when you start the game you have to pick a food and then it gives you that as your name. So I'm called Pizza. Mine's called Curry. <laughs> so uh, that's my name. I'm Pizza and I'm going around with the brush, talking to people and painting things. Yeah. Yeah, it's really fun. It's really fun. Chicory is like super depressed because we don't know yet, but she's, she's really depressed. But I am having fun with the game. Um, typically, these games are not really for me. Um, I feel like I know exactly who this game is for. I wish I would have played it in co-op because there is a co-op feature where one of you can control your like your main character, this janitor, pizza or curry in our mm -hmm. cases, and the other can paint and just color around. I didn't do much painting. I watched the trailers and it seemed like they painted everything they saw. Every um, part of the level you walk through, they painted everything. But me, I was just focus on the narrative side of things so i was just like speaking to everyone and everyone's quite quirky it's, it is cute or the word you use is uh twee <laughs> yeah it's less it's less twee than i thought because it's when i saw it initially i thought this is a kind of cute colorful game that's like a bit animal crossing -y in terms of vibe but it's got a, a slightly yeah. more mature feel to it in terms of the story and like you say, chicory, like something bad's happened. No, no, they're not happy at all. There's some, I wouldn't say adult yeah. themes, but there's definitely, it's not It's not just a kid's game, this. It's definitely a, a thoughtful indie game. Um, and yeah, it's, yeah. I, I'm interested to see where it goes, what you, what you can do. It's full of like little things that are like, oh, right, that's nice. Like there's, it's a, it's a puzzle game to a degree where you paint the world and things happen right yeah. so all like what i've done so far essentially is there's to get places you have to paint uh plants or unpaint them or don't give them light and that will change the way they are so they either yeah. appear or disappear or grow or shrink you can use those to get around the world and open areas you couldn't get to um one th nice touch i think yeah. is like i was slightly stuck in that i couldn't i just didn't realize that you could do this thing with the plants to um make them form bridges i was like how do i get from here and i saw a, a phone box i thought i'm going to use yeah. this phone and what you do is you use this phone you call your parents um and then you call you talk to your mum mm. and your mum gives you like some hints like oh no you are nice to hear from you pizza uh i'll tell you what to do and then you, and then if you want more hints <laughs> dad comes on and starts shouting down the phone about exactly what you should do and it's just a nice yeah. that's a nice way of putting like hints into the game so you don't get lost at the same time keeping it like within the like it feels like part of the game still it's not just a, a pop-up yeah most definitely there's there's loads of ways you actually meet your your dad later on in the um in the game but puzzle wise i did not get stuck but i had to look at the screen for a little bit i was like okay what do i actually do here mm -hmm. and um there's loads of things that do happen puzzle wise that i'll put a trailer up on the screen so you can see what it looks like later on in the game but earlier on as you said you're shrinking plants creating bridges um have you did you get to the dungeon yet i've done some where well, there's the dark tunnel you have to light the tunnel and 
yeah. sort of figure out how to get the the plants to not block the path and stuff, but still light the way through yeah. that kind of stuff. And that was fairly neat. I've also done one boss battle, I guess. Um, we have to fight this what looks like a massive, ah, yes. massive eyeball that fires light at you. I didn't really understand yep. what was going on exactly, but yep. you kind of use the you dodge this light beam and then you use your brush to paint the eyeball and then I failed a few times but you just get thrown yeah. back in so I don't know if that's the way the game's going to be throughout where there's not really a sense of punishment you just keep going until you get through it but yeah it's yeah. so far pretty neat it feels like a game that's really been lovingly made like everything feels very crafted like I could I could see the developer obviously spend time on each each screen so to speak and getting that right making it look right the characters are all quirky um yeah there's one character just sat slumped on a bench uh because the world has all gone white and yeah. lost all its color there's another kind of gruff character like paint my house yeah. in like tough colors uh, that's my tough voice johnny was it was it good um and then uh, <laughs> you you paint it in I'm whatever quivering. you paint it in like whatever colors you don't, I think tough colors I don't have tough colors but then you paint it in whatever colors and they're like yeah. yes these are lovely and tough thank you very much and that I think that feels like a theme of what's happening where there's a lot of sort of praise no one's like there's there's a lot of yes yeah. thank you so much you're wonderful uh, which is nice like games aren't always full of praise this one seems to be i don't know if things are going to get darker because you get this uh glimpse early yeah. on of this kind of weird dark uh thing which led to this first boss battle where the the world kind of becomes a bit frayed at the edges and stuff i don't know if that's obviously related to something like the, yeah. the game physically shakes at points when stuff happens and you think what's going on um but yeah, so far, it's very lovely, I would say. Yeah, most definitely. I would say, just to touch back on the, the boss battle, it's like baby's first bullet hell. Mm. But <laughs> it's like super simple. Um, I will say it does have darker themes to it. I said, um, once you go back and meet Chicory, you'll see that there is like, she's like super depressed and, and doesn't want to, doesn't want to, doesn't want to help anymore. Um, it's not really a spoiler it's like two seconds into the game <laughs> but um the game is really expressive it's really expressive the music um the composer are the same people who done celeste so if you say that you really like it really sets the tone when you play it's cute i definitely i recommended it to my my best pal who has a kid and said you should definitely play this with your son you might have fun it's co-op mm. um i'm nothing else really to say it's a it's a cute game it's very cozy if you like cozy games definitely pick up chicory a colorful tale 